Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about um, working with XML with PHP. Um, today I'm going to show you how to load an XML um, an XML file and work with it using PHP. Um, quick little explanation here. Um, so in PHP 5.0, uh, simple X, the simple XML extension was introduced and uh, right now it's enabled by default. I'm currently working with PHP 5.5.10. Um, if you have any issues, you shouldn't have any issues with um, the code if you're working with PHP 5, any version. Uh, but if there's any issues, let me know. Also, um, the uh, objective of Simple XML is to provide a simple and easily usable tool set to convert XML into an object so that it can be accessed with normal property selectors. Um, this is straight from php.net. Uh, you can look into simple XML um, through php.net to uh, look more into it. And um, so the method we'll be using is simple XML load file again. And uh, so it's going to return an object of the class simple XML element. So uh, I've added a, um, a general good practice here. You guys don't have to do this, but uh, it's a check to ensure that our XML file actually exists before actually um, continuing on. So right now we have example.xml that does exist. Now obviously if we change that and uh, go to load this, we're going to get an error message. which, uh, you know, we've stated here with um, PHP's exit function. So, uh, the XML file that we're going to be working with is just, uh, since we got World Cup coming up, figured this would be a pretty good example. Um, so, I'm assuming you have, you know, a decent knowledge of XML. Um, so right now, this we have team nodes, which consist of uh, properties, and then we have nodes within those nodes um, that also have properties. Um, so here we have, you know, team Germany, their coach, titles they've won and uh, two separate players. <coughs> another another way to see this uh, visually, actually this you know is a good way I look at it as well, is actually going to that XML file, opening up in your browser, and you can actually um, you can see you know each node. So we can see that they're actually separate, right? Um, so we have the Germany node, as I'll call it, and the Brazil node, and then again within those nodes, we have uh, more nodes or children. Also, um, another way you can kind of see the structure of what the XML is going to return is um, so this actually will give us just a more structured representation of the data. Actually, I'll show you without it first. Uh, so go back to this guy. So this is what we actually get. And a nice structured format here. So again, just like we saw with the XML, um, so you have your original object, and then um, your nodes are also represented by objects, and there's properties within those objects. If you're not too familiar with object-oriented programming yet, don't worry about it. I mean, I'll, I'll show you. It's it shouldn't be too hard to uh, understand 
So what we're going to do next is actually access one of these properties. So let's say we're trying to access Germany. What we'll do is, so XML actually returns, um, you know, the World Cup object. And so next, we're going to point at team. And we're going to select the first node, so team zero. And then we want to select the property from that. So if we wanted country, we'd put country. If we want coach, we do coach. If we wanted titles, we do titles. And then if we want to go deeper into that, we do player and then select properties from within there. Right? So if we do team zero country, we should expect to get uh, Germany back in return. Okay? So, and also, guys, play around with this as much as you want. Uh, use use that structure to kind of guide you. At, at least that's uh, what I do. And so team one will get Brazil. Right? Actually, you know what? Let's... Um, Let's keep that there for a visual aid. Echo. Echo. Sorry, print. So again, we're going to see the structure and then we're going to see what we're returning at the end. So if I wanted to get Joachim Lau, which is the coach property now, of the team zero node, save that first, we'll get Joachim Lau. Okay, um, next we're going to look at uh, common practices with getting all that data back and printing it out. So I'm going to go through um, two different methods. You can use, um, this is a less common method, uh, you probably won't use it very often and I'm just showing you just for shits and giggles. Uh, so for x equals zero, x is less than, so what we're gonna do is count um, the number of uh, properties within um, within the first first nodes of our um, our XML and X plus plus which is just an increment so before we do this let's just show you what count XML returns so let's go uh, break. Count. Uh, 
So it's counting our two nodes that we have within here. Next, uh, we'll do echo XML. Um, actually, XML team. XML team player, or sorry, um, country, and I'm just adding spaces to make, uh, again, to make this a little more formatted. Sorry guys, it's taken, just kind of doing this off the top of my head, so it's taken a while. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, so, and then XML team. Uh, what was the titles? Rake. Uh, So let's try that out. So we have that twice. XML. Oh yeah, sorry. That was the whole purpose of this. So as as we showed before, we had um, this value equal to two. So what this is going to do is it's actually going to uh, go through this twice, so x is going to be 0 the first time around. It's going to go within the first node. So team 0 coach, team 0 country, team 0 titles, which is going to give all the Germany information back. And then the second time around it's going to um, it's going to go through the Brazil information and then it'll stop. So if we save that now we get the information. Okay, so that was uh, a, that that way again isn't really as practical as the next method, which is more common. So we're gonna do for each XML team as team. Echo team country again if we can break just to format team country Team uh, coach. You guys are probably typing this quicker at home. And team titles.
So again, uh, exact same data, just um, this time, without thinking, and just uh, you know put put them in different order. Now, if we go back to the XML within these uh, nodes, we go to another level, which are the players. So at this point, if we actually go to you know, team player, then we can access uh, this information. And again, we'll loop through it to get all that information for both nodes. And so within here, we'll do another for each. So since we already have XML team represented by team for each team player, so again, this is like going XML team player as player. We're going to um, do the exact same thing. So echo make this a lot quicker this time around. Player name and then player and then another break at the end just to separate the two nodes. So now you have absolutely everything. So we, we went through uh, everything within the XML file. Um, so from the team coach title to the player name and their, um, their position. So let's see Ronaldinho, midfield, Rizzo, Luis Felipe Scolari and five. So uh, yeah, um, that's everything I'm covering for this video. If there's any additional questions, probably could add some um, links as well. Uh, yeah. Uh, also, if you guys want some more information, please feel free to ask me as well. Okay. Thank you.